Hello everyone, this is Isaac from IlluminatiWatcher.com. You know that for many years I've been talking about the mind-controlling effects of the Super Bowl and how they use symbolism in the halftime shows along with the mind-numbing commercials to program the masses. And since I follow pop culture primarily to pick apart the entertainment and the symbolism found within it, I thought I'd take a look at one particular commercial that is trending before the Super Bowl is even aired regarding the Avocado Secret Society. So let's take a look at this idea. If you want to back out fully, the Illuminati are the ones that are steering humanity in a covert manner, or so the conspiracy theory community believes. And one way they do this is by speaking to our subconscious through the use of symbols. Now these symbols talk to us on a subconscious level, they go past the conscious mind and into the realm of psychoanalyst Carl Jung's belief in the subconscious, which uh, Carl Jung's studies were involved with occult ideas of Gnosticism and al alchemy. He sought to reconcile the opposites of the mind, the conscious and the unconscious, because he knew, along with the quote-unquote Illuminati, that there are powers to be tapped into. They want to steer humanity towards their final goals, which are what we all postulate about and try to figure out what exactly it is they're trying to do. So when we see this Super Bowl commercial with the secret societies, we have to know that there is a purpose for this. Just like the rest of the entertainment industry, they are owned and operated by the Illuminati, and distraction is the key to manipulation. As was evident with the Roman Empire and the quote-unquote bread and circus tactic, where they would entertain people in order to dupe them and do what they wanted to create the world that they desired. So, if you have not seen the commercial, I will play a sort of version of it here. Due to copyright laws, I will have to make slight alterations to it, but you'll get the picture or you can look for it yourself. I'll be back in a minute. Good afternoon and welcome. What? I said good afternoon and welcome. Can we lose the masks? Just take them off. How can we be a secret... How can we be a secret society if we can't keep all of our secrets? Do they know we faked the moon landing? No, not yet. Or that there are only 49 shades of gray? They're suspicious, but that's not what I'm talking about. What about Bigfoot? Bigfoot's not real and everyone knows that. Did they figure out we deflated the football? No, we found a fall guy for that one. Bigfoot's definitely real. Nope. Okay. We'll just have to agree to disagree. What about Area 51? Do they know about that? No. How about Area 52 to 54? No, stop saying areas. No areas plus a number. Literally hundreds of photos of Bigfoot. Okay. Yeah, I saw him once. Wait, see. Wait, Bigfoot? I'm getting it wrong. Paul Bunyan? The point is, someone is leaking this stuff. Why are you looking at me? I'm not looking at you, Anne. I'm tired. I've seen his foot with us. Scott! What they do know is that avocados from Mexico have good fats. So they know they're healthy. They know everything. Kyle, are you streaming this? Is that not cool? No, it's not cool. It, that's what secret means. It's a secret society. Oh, wow. Secret. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Hey, I got a like. You got a like? That was me. I like you too. I, at least they don't know about subliminal advertising. <laughs> that's not even a thing, right? Eat them! So now that you've seen the commercial, you can tell that I will pick it apart based upon the ideas that I've already been predicting the Super Bowl halftime show with Lady Gaga and how it could be used as a source of manipulation. Another example would be back in 2015 at the Super Bowl when Katy Perry and the uh, Pepsi nihilistic commercials for Live For Now had the alien takeovers. Uh, but let's take a look at specifically this avocado commercial. First, we see the obelisk. This is the symbol of the male phallic power. These ancient societies believed that Hermes represented the mysteries of male reproduction with the phallus. This was uh, depicted with the obelisk in ancient Egypt. And when the ancient Greeks and Egyptians were meeting up in Alexandria to share ideas... Uh, you know, mostly in these secret societies and mystics and groups like that. They made this uh, amalgamation of the the uh, Hermes character 
called Hermes Trismegistus. And this uh, character took on the properties and brought about the Hermeticism ideas. The ancient Egyptians also had the myth of Osiris, where he was cut up into many pieces by Set, who is the representation of Satan or the adversary or, quote-unquote, the other. And Osiris' wife, Isis, put them together, all but the penis, and she found a wooden or golden obelisk to complete the body as the penis. She mounted and reproduced Horus, which is the embodiment of Aleister Crowley's Aeon of Horus. This is the time period he believes we are living in. This is the age of the crown and conquering child. And according to Crowley, there's one more beyond this, or maybe not so much Crowley, but some of his acolytes, Kenneth Grant. There's another age coming called the Aeon of Matt. But the current Aeon of Horus is one of self-deification and the destruction of organized religion. Now, Crowley was obsessed with the phallus. Uh, in his Gnostic mass, the practitioners consume semen in the cakes of light, as, I, as he calls them. This is another idea we've seen recently with the Pizzagate conspiracies and Marina Abramovich's spirit cooking with, ironically, Lady Gaga. Next, let's take a look at the triangle. I've talked about this many times in the past. The secret societies all use these logos of the triangle. It is similar to the phallus in that you could depict male powers with it upright or female with it inverted. Uh, these two opposing mysteries are, again, the same idea. When you can reconcile the two opposing powers of the moon and the sun or the inverted triangle and upright triangle, this is the same as the alchemical ideas of bridging the subconscious and conscious mind together. Another symbol we see is the key. I just talked about this in my breakdown of the sci-fi show The Magicians because it is on the Break Bills University logo. This key is symbolic of Freemasonry and keeping the secrets from the masses, a.k.a. the Illuminati Valve Silence. So when we see it in the avocado commercial with the secret society, it is of no surprise. Some other ideas, you can hear them talk about faking the moon landing. I've already covered this in depth with my Kubrick's Code project, taking a look at Stanley Kubrick and how it was alleged that he filmed the fake moon landing around the same time he was filming 2001 A Space Odyssey. Very interesting ideas. Another thing that we see in the commercial is the number 23. This is the 23 Enigma and the, you know, I don't know if I want to call it the Illuminati, but an off branch of the Illuminati, one of the ideas about them is that they think that all things connect to this number 23. So I believe it is in this commercial to show other people in the same group that this is a coordinated effort. The uh, It'd be kind of interesting that the CD would have 23 tracks on it. That's what we're supposed to believe when we see the commercial's grandmaster pause of the track. But... When you look at uh, the Illuminatus trilogy written by Robert Anton Wilson, who was heavily knowledgeable about ideas of the occult, we find out that the quote-unquote Illuminati obsess over this number. It can be found in theories of Discordianism and the idea that chaos reigns supreme, which is ironic because Donald Trump was the chaos candidate, and that is who is in there right now. Let's take a look at another idea. They talk about Bigfoot in this commercial pretty often, and... Again, this is an idea that you see oftentimes. Uh, they speak about contacting these otherworldly entities. And this is something that we've been looking at for a couple of years now. It's the idea of contacting demonic entities from other dimensions. And the entertainment of today is luring the masses to do the same with ghost hunting shows and Bigfoot hunting shows. And as I've talked about in the past, Hitler would be proud of that. Because he and the secret societies he had, like Vril and Thule... They did the same thing. They tried to use uh, channeling to contact these aliens like Maria Orsic. In the commercial, you'll also hear about areas, you know, 51, 52, 53, 54. Again, you know, same idea. We're talking about this idea of contacting aliens and uh, the government trying to hide it. Uh, but the commercial ends with the idea making a joke about subliminals. But again, this goes back to the original point. There's power behind these commercials, the marketing, and how it influences the subconscious mind. Why do you think these people are spending so much money to make these commercials? And it's kind of interesting that people nowadays 
actually enjoy these commercials or they watch the game just for commercials, which seems absurd to me. I would never watch commercials, but apparently it's a thing because on YouTube they are trending. So people want to uh, use commercials like this avocado one to make fun of these symbols. You know, they have memes of the magic triangles and even, uh, you know, memes of the the uh, 666 all over the place. But the reality is that memes and magic symbols are very powerful, as is evident with the election of the chaos candidate Donald Trump with Pepe the Frog, or even the tragic story of Slenderman and the young girls that were uh, tried to kill another young girl based upon its uh, meme or symbolism. Now, you'll notice that lately there's been a push for this idea of fake news. And what that is, is they're trying to steer us to believe a certain agenda. And they are filling the void with commercials and symbols like this, trying to confuse and deceive you. They do not want you to take a closer look at these ideas and these symbols and to understand their true esoteric meaning. They would rather just make a joke of it and move on and show you more football or commercials or music or film or whatever. So I think that if all of these ideas seem a little foreign to you, you should continue this journey. Take a look a little bit further, a little bit deeper. You can go to IlluminatiWatcher.com and sign up for what I have as a free email newsletter. That is just me. I do not sell that to anyone else. And when you sign up for that, you'll get periodic updates free book giveaway offers, and you can unlock the archives on many articles just like this where we examine pop culture and entertainment and reveal the true agenda and symbolism behind it. I want to thank you for listening. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I've got many more videos just like this. Thanks for listening.